Sounds like good advice there. Absolutely. And Mike, I'm sure has some good advice about the heat we're seeing right now. Yeah, drier air has moved in, so the heat index values are quite nice across the central United States. You have to head down the desert to find higher heat index values, uh, which, you know, temperatures are hotter out to, to the west of us. But, you know, we're doing pretty good for this time of year in Oklahoma, down at Dallas, and temperatures definitely cooler down that way with more cloud cover. All right, so we do have chances for rain and storms the next couple of days. I've kept the green check marks for pool days. And why is it? Well, you're thinking, well, you got storm chance. Put, shouldn't you put an X? Well, these are not going to, it's not going to be a widespread rain. It's not going to rain all day long. These are going to be some pop up thunderstorms. So, my suggestion to you is go with your plants, keep the Storm Shield app close by, check the radar here and there, and make sure no storms are near your area. And if, remember, if you hear thunder, you hear that roar, head indoor. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at temperatures across the next seven days. Lower 90s for your Thursday, lower 90s on Friday, Saturday. Temperatures cool some because the clouds will be thicker and we'll see those chances for storms in the area Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So temperatures held down into the upper 80s for afternoon highs by early next week. But the weekend, you know, it's Saturday, not a bad day. Temperatures are lower 90s, just a slight chance for an isolated shower thunderstorm. The clouds will be a little thicker on Sunday and a slightly higher chance for storms on Sunday will help keep temperatures a little cooler. But again, I wouldn't cancel outdoor activities this weekend. OK, so it's not going to be all day rain, just some hit or miss isolated thunderstorms possible pretty much every day starting tomorrow through the middle of next week with some days slightly higher chances for rain. 93 is our current temperature. We have a northeast wind at 6. Humidity is really low at 20%. We climbed to 94 degrees today, but the heat index value, value right now, what it feels like is in the lower 90s. All right, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., Tulsa is 70 degrees. A little bit of a south wind returning to the area. By 5, you can see this little pop-up thunderstorms across the area. So not a huge chance for rain, but if you do get it underneath one of these thunderstorms, your temps are going to drop off considerably. And where it's cloudy or a little thicker cloud star south, temperatures are going to be a little cooler. Our Super 10 day, we're going to break down individual days that we choose, like tomorrow or for this 10 day, I'm choosing Friday for high school football. We're going to see temperatures for kickoff in the mid 80s. So 90 for a high, slight chance for thunderstorms in the evening hours as we kick off the uh, game and then the evening slight chance for a few isolated showers remain Friday evening with temperatures down into the lower 80s. The rest of the 10 day 91 on Saturday 89 on Sunday upper 80s for Monday and Tuesday. There's a 30% chance for storm Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and with the clouds thicker that's going to hold temperatures down into the upper 80s. 90 degrees on Wednesday lower 90s for Thursday, Friday and Saturday of next weekend. So, Chris, we've got OSU kicking off tomorrow. We do. Just a we slim do. chance for an isolated shower storm. Uh, 